Hey, welcome to some additional content we're posting online. Cillian Petrov, aka Stan Petrov, alongside David James, aka David James. Uh, Dave, did anyone call you Dave? I had a few people call me Dave, yeah. Feels weird. It does feel yeah, very, very weird. Very, <laughs> very odd. Anyway, the biggest news in football, nothing to do with the match that we're at today. Manchester City, Erling Haaland. How big a deal is this? Is this a game changer looking forward? Yeah, I mean, it depends which game it changes. Uh, with regards to the Premier League, obviously Man City are the dominant side at the well, moment. They're the top scorers in the division. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I, I think uh, Haaland as a signing is phenomenal, simply because he's nearly 22 years old. I think there's massive scope for changing his style of play to suit uh, Pep's style of play, if you like. And this guy is a goal machine. He scores, on average, he will score more than one goal, more often than he scores one goal. He is a goal he's machine. So, wait, he's more likely to score multiple goals multiple than he is goals single per goals. game. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible, Sonny. I mean, that's a Premier League, that's a brand, you know, bringing the best players. And he's one of the, the best young players in, in, out there. And everybody questioning Ben Guardiola about strikers, and he's just going to get the best young talent out there. So, incredible, incredible signing for Man City going to make him even more stronger so what else we expect to score the 10 goals uh, you know again because he will score goals the way the way Man City play the chances they create he just have to be in the right place and he definitely can score goals do you know his dad I probably played against him when Man City got relegated that's it when I was playing for Liverpool yeah two <laughs> all at the uh, Main road. I'd imagine he was playing in that game. Yeah, you should think so. But I mean, is it a move that makes sense for him? I mean, he was linked to a whole host of clubs. He could have had his pick of the bunch. I know there's an emotional connection Manchester City because of his dad. But is it the right one for Erling Haaland? Considering what Jamo just said, that he's young enough to be changeable to fit a Pep system. I mean, first of all, he's a great asset. Young, you know what? You've got a lot of years in him. But the funny thing is, like. Man City did not wait like Harry Kane last year. They waited, they waited, and at the end they couldn't get it. So now they've done the business earlier. He's going to be with the team for a pre-season. He's going to chair with the group. So Pep Guardiola has given him enough time to prepare with the team and style of play. Does it fit him though? Does it suit him, do you think? Does it make sense for the player? I'm not looking at the club, the player himself. Because again, he could have gone probably to any of the Spanish clubs, Italian clubs. He probably could have gone to Bayern Munich if they were willing to offer him the money. He could have gone anywhere, any other club in England as well. Manager like Pep Guardiola and club, they always find the solution to the players. They can always find the, 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 right, the right position and the right style because it takes time for the new player. Jack Greenish, Mares, you see Silva. You take your time, but you'll definitely be a successful manager. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, I don't know exactly why he signed, and I, I don't think for one minute it's financial gain. But if you're going to a side which is the dominant force in the Premier League, which is the, the dominant league... But not Europe. Well, there's a chance to do something that no one else has done. You go buy Munich, they've done everything. I mean, Haaland looks hungry. I love watching him play. I love everything about him. He looks hungry. He could do something that no one has ever done at Man City. And that's an achievement. Plus... have it. Younger. Good luck. Anyway, you were saying? Yeah. Hungry. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, everything. Everything seems to fit the profile of a player who's going to dominate world football potentially. You go to somewhere like PSG, you're not guaranteeing anything. Yeah. You go to Bayern Munich, especially in Europe, you're not guaranteeing anything. At least Man City has shown that they're contesting at the top end of that European table regularly now. They're dominant in their own league. The world's his oyster. Let me put this out there. We have to wrap in a minute. Mbappe or Haaland? Ballon d'Or. Who's going to get it first? They are the next force in football. Along with the likes of Phil Foden and so forth, I know. But I'm just going to put it Haaland or... If Diaz keep going and progressing the same way, I'll go for Diaz. He wasn't in the question, Stan. Yeah. Come on. I'll go Mbappe. Uh, Haaland. Haaland. Even with the fact that you look at who he plays for in the national side, France, he's already a World Cup winner, Mbappe. Right, so, that yeah, might, that might be in his favour. If you look at the, the goal spread, these two, they're, they're pretty similar. Mbappe is another one who scores multiple goals more than singles. But Mbappe's doing it in the French league, in the best team in that French league. Haaland's doing it for Dortmund. 
which aren't the best team in German league. The second best. It doesn't matter. You still got to play the likes of Bayern <laughs> Munich, and he scores against Bayern Munich. Okay. Um, the only the one caveat that I've got with the whole signing is the 10 games he's missed this season. For a 21-year-old to be missing 10 games in a season, it's a big deal. There's something there. Now, hopefully, it's something minor, and it won't happen when he okay. comes to Man City. Have your say. Is it going to be a success story or not? Mbappe or Haaland for you? All these questions and more. I want to know what you're thinking. Leave a comment down below. All right, we better clear the pitch. Otherwise, we'll get in trouble. See you later.